strike called to Hardison. One strike. I'm used to that. Ball hit to Arb, it's going to be foul. Fair, he called it fair. So here comes two runs, here comes the third run, and the double clears the bases. So very quickly, it's 10-7, and she hit. Right here in the bottom of the seventh. Hard on deck, Flimmer, Hardison at second. Ball hit right at the shortstop. She's up to throw over and doesn't get to the bag. For some reason, she stepped off the bag and... I don't think it was, it was like three feet and caught it and could have stretched out and got that, but Roy just stepped off the bag, so got runners at the corners, and now the tying run steps to the plate. Hey, Anderson is nervous as he can be. He's ball hit hard. It's going to be in the gap. That's going to score one. She's going to go double. Here comes... Clemmer, she's going to score, and we got a 10 to 9. The ball's up, and she's in third base. So 10 to 9 right now. With two outs with Buffet. A walk off. We're going to have another pitcher coming in. Number you got to love the game when you can have this situation. 10 down, 10 to nothing. You've battled back to 10 9. Lots of character, lots of integrity. Ball just bounced out in front of home plate. They're not going to get her. Okay, tied up. It is tied up. And the winning run on first base. An infield hit. It hit right out in front of home place. Man. Waited her turn. She's been in the rotation playing. She's been back there for 10 innings now and needs the ball's hit. That's going to fall. Game over. LCU came back 10 runs down to win 13 to 12. What an effort by the Lady Shaps. They got to turn around and play another one, so they can't celebrate a long time, but they can't celebrate. Oh, wow. And what? Oh, I don't know if I've seen anything like it. I'm, the number five team, I'm telling you, was is the number five team.